Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is the third part of my blog series of a Postman tool. In this video, we are going to talk about what is workspace in Postman, how you can create and share your API collection using the Postman workspace. So let's get started. Before we dive in into the Postman tool and create the workspace, let's first understand what is workspace in Postman. Workspace is a place where you can organize your API development project and collaborate with your team. What does that mean? Basically, if you try to understand the concept of workspace in a Postman, it's a simple way of organizing your API collection in a centralized location. It is a similar concept that we use to manage our source code in a centralized location like github azure devops so pretty much same postman workspace is a similar concept but it is inbuilt in the postman tool so that you do not need to use any other third party source control like github azure devops etc i hope you guys understand the definition of a workspace now let's see what are the advantages of creating a workspace the first advantage of creating a workspace is a organization Workspace allow you to organize your API development project and resources in a way that makes sense for you. You can create multiple workspaces for the different project or the stages of development and switch between them easily. What does that mean? So let's take an example. You're working on a multiple project and each project has a different set of API. You can create a workspace in a Postman to test your APIs based on your project. So you can create a multiple workspaces, one for each of your project, and you can easily switch in between them depending on the project API that you wanted to test. It's a better way to organize your API if you are working on a multiple project. The second advantage of creating a workspace is a collaboration. Workspace allow you to invite the team member and join and collaborate on your project. You can share collection, environment, and mock server with the team member and work together on the same project. If you watch my previous video where I have shown you, if you want to share the API collection across the team, you can export and then import that API collection. But you have to do this exercise multiple times every time when you are modifying your APIs, right? If you are not using the workspace. But if you are using the workspace, you can invite your team member and they can able to see your changes and collaborate to that API collection without importing and exporting every time. So it is a really helpful when it comes to the team collaboration. The third advantage of having a workspace in Postman is a customization. You can customize the setting of each workspaces such as name, description to help you to organize and efficient. The fourth advantage is a reusability. Collection and environment that you can create a workspace can be reused in other workspace and shared with the team. This saves the time and effort as you don't need to recreate these resources each new project. The fifth advantage is testing and development. Mock server allow you to simulate an API before it is actually built. You can create mock server in a workspace and test your API against them to ensure that everything is working as expected. Overall, creating a workspace in a Postman can help you to stay organized and streamline your API development process. So far, we have understand what is workspace in a Postman and what are the advantage of having a workspace in a Postman. Now let's see how many types of workspace that we can create in Postman. So there are two types of workspaces that we can create in Postman. First one is a personal workspace and the second type is team workspace. Personal workspace is being created and owned by the individual user, which means if you are creating a personal workspace, then it is only be accessible for your user account. It cannot be shared to the other team member. If you are sharing your personal workspace to the other team member, then it will get automatically get converted to the team's workspace. What is team workspace? Like I said, team workspace is a workspace that is shared by the group of team member in a Postman teams. Why we need the team workspace? Let's understand by the use case. Let's understand the use case of a team workspace through this slide. We have three team member working on the same project. 
नितिन वेब एंड नामिश नितिन इज क्रिएटिंग न्यू ए पी आई कलेक्शन एंड वॉन्टेड टू शेयर विद वेब एंड नामिश ही हैड टू ऑप्शन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन ही कैन एक्सपोर्ट द ए पी आई कलेक्शन एंड शेयर इंडिविजुअली टू वेब एंड नामिश एंड दे कैन इम्पोर्ट दैट ए पी आई कलेक्शन टू देयर पोस्टमैन टूल एंड टेस्ट द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज नितिन कैन क्रिएट अ टीम वर्क स्पेस एट दैट कलेक्शन टू दैट टीम वर्क स्पेस एंड देन एड नामिश एंड वेब टू दैट टीम सो दैट दे कैन एबल टू सी द अपडेट्स वट नितिन इज मेकिंग टू दैट ए पी आई कलेक्शन रियल टाइम नितिन डज नॉट नीड टू शेयर द एक्सपोर्ट फाइल टू आइदर ऑफ दीज टू टीम मेंबर दे कैन सिंपली गो टू दैट वर्क टीम वर्क स्पेस एंड सी द अपडेट्स रियल टाइम सिमिलरली इफ दे वॉन्ट टू मेक एनी मॉडिफिकेशन टू दैट ए पी आई कलेक्शन दे कैन ईजली एबल टू मेक इट एंड नितिन कैन ऑल्सो बी एबल टू सी दैट अपडेट वाई आर दैट टीम्स वर्क स्पेस आई होप यू गॉट द गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन पोस्टमैन वर्क स्पेसिस लाइक वॉट इज वर्क स्पेस इन पोस्टमैन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पर्सनल वर्क स्पेस एंड टीम वर्क स्पेस लेट्स डाइव इन टू द पोस्टमैन टूल एंड सी हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट दीज वर्क स्पेसिस इन पोस्टमैन आई हैव ओपन द पोस्टमैन टूल ऑन माई मशीन टू क्रिएट द वर्क स्पेस नेविगेट टू दैट वर्क स्पेसिस फर्स्ट यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ अकाउंट इफ यू डोंट हैव द एग्जिस्टिंग और इफ यू ऑलरेडी हैव एन अकाउंट विद पोस्टमैन देन यू कैन क्लिक ऑन साइन इन For now, I'm going to create two new accounts so that I can switch between those two accounts. I'm going to pause the video and will come back once the account has been created. If you see, I have set up two different login. One is with nitin.grg18gmail.com, and the second one is nitin202493 at the gmail.com. So these are the two. different account that i'm going to use throughout this video so that i can demonstrate how you can able to share your postman api collection using the postman teams if you are already logging to the postman then simply go to the workspaces by default postman give you this my workspace where you can add your api collection but if you want to create a new workspace simply click on create workspace button here you have to first give the name summary and type of visibility so if you are selecting the personal workspace you can only be able to access this workspace no one else on your team can able to access this workspace if you are creating a team workspace then you can share your api collection across the team the other visibility type which is a private private can be only enabled if you are on enterprise plan like if you are using the free version uh, you cannot have the ability to select the private visibility partner i haven't used it before so i'll explore this later and it seems like it is a new feature which i haven't used it before so sorry for that public if you are selecting a public anyone can able to access your api collection so try to avoid creating a public uh, if you don't want to share your apis across the postman users let's go ahead and enter the name and summary so that we can create this as a new workspace and then we can add the api collection to this workspace for the demo purpose i'm going to use personal and team so first i will create the personal workspace so i'll select the personal and enter the name so i have entered the name and summary then click on create workspace button now you can see a new workspace has been created and by default it is selected my workspace is being created now i will add an api collection to this workspace to add an api collection either i can create a new collection or i can import the existing collection which i already have so i'll go with the import process click on import I have to select the file so this is the export of my demo project postman collection so i select this now i can able to import this collection to my personal workspace which is youtube demo project so click on import now here you can see 
the collection is being imported successfully now if i go to any other laptop or any other machine and log in with the user nitin 202493.gmail.com i can able to access this postman collection from anywhere i do not need an export of that to show the example of this let's log in to the web account of a postman and i can able to see this uh, collection in my web account in order to log in to the web account of a postman navigate to the postman.com click on sign in i have this user selected so i'll select that user now if i go to the workspace i can see my workspace which i have created by a postman tool and if i select this workspace i can see all the api collections all the api or api collection added to this workspace so this is the one of the advantage if you are using a different machine or if you want to use your api collection but you are not on your machine you can able to access it if you are creating a postman workspace so you have seen how you can create a personal workspace using the postman tool now let's go ahead and create the team workspace so that we can also see how we can share our api collection across the team to create the team workspace you need to repeat the same step what you have done when you are creating the personal workspace click on this create workspace button give name team workspace demo and give the description so i have given the name and description and the visibility that i'm going to select is team now click on this create workspace and team when you create a team workspace it asks you to edit the team profile here you can enter the team name so by default it automatically assign a team name but if you want to assign a new name you can edit this and give your own name so you can give team name to youtube demo project and then you can also customize the url so let's say if i wanted to customize this url youtube demo project and you can also enable the team discovery mode basically team discovery mode lets people from your organization see your teams and request to join so for now i'll keep it default as off click on continue now here i can enter the email so that i can send the invitation to my team members or i can give them this link so they can also use this link and join the team so for now i'm going to give an email to my other postman account which i've created the date gmail.com and click on continue now the invitation has been sent i have to log in to my gmail account and accept the invitation so i have logged into my gmail account and able to see the invitation email that is being sent out from nathan202493 at the gmail.com to join the team that is being created by this email so in order to join the team click on join team and view workspace button once i click i have to log in with the email id or with the account that i'm using to join the team workspace so this invitation has been sent out to this email id so i'm going to log in with my google account and this is the account that i'm going to choose now here it will ask before you join youtube demo project team do you wish to keep your workspace or transfer them to the team once the transfer the data will be managed by the admin of the team i wanted to keep from team so i wanted to keep separate from team my existing workspace so select that once i accept the invite you can see i'm logged in as nathan.grg18 at gmail.com and i can have the access of team workspace demo which is a team workspace that we have created through account nathan202493@gmail.com 
Now here you can see there's no API collection has been added. So if I add a new API collection from Nathan202493 at the rate gmail.com, I can able to see the same API collection to my Nathan.grg18 at the rate gmail.com account real time. So I do not need to export or import the API collection just for the sharing purpose. So let's go ahead and import the existing API collection so that we can see how it will get automatically shared. Now I have imported the API collection to Nathan202493 at the rate gmail.com account. So all the API collection has been added to team workspace demo. If I refresh the account here, which is nathan.grg18 at the rate gmail.com, you can see the update, what is being done with this account get automatically shown to my another account. So you have seen how creating a team collection will help to share the update real time. When you are working with the team workspace, it's not just about sharing the updates real time. You can also able to track what activity has been done in that workspace by each team member. How you can do that? You can go to the home tab and in the activity feed, you can able to see all the updates are happening within that workspace by each team member. So for example, if I log in as a another team member, which is nathan.grg18 at the rate gmail.com. And let's say if I modify something here in that workspace. So for example, if I go and change it to three, save, the activity feed get updated. And the similar information can also be seen by my other team member, which is Nathan202493 at the gmail.com. And if I go home under the activity section, you can see it is showing Nathan Garg edited the demo project collection and team workspace. And I can also see the chain log. So it's not just about sharing the API collection real time. It also gives you the flexibility to monitor what is going on with that workspace with each of each user that you have shared or invite to that team. I'm hoping that this video give you the good understanding on what is workspaces and how you can manage your APIs or you can say API collection within the workspaces. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, please provide your feedback in the comment section so that it will help me to improve in the next coming videos.